Hi. Welcome to Happy Yarn with Charlie. I'm Charlie. Hi. How you doing? Pardon the ducks and the horns honking, and this is take three. But um, today I'm going to show you how to make my new design, my very own kitchen boa. Yeah. Kitchen boa. This has cotton yarn on the bottom and acrylic yarn up here. And as you can see, it just sits comfortably. If you were like me, when you cook, you put your kitchen towel this way. Mine always falls off my shoulder. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> Mine always falls off my shoulder when I'm doing the dishes and I'm cooking. So, uh, I just recently found out what a boa was. Search for crochet patterns. There is none. 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 So I designed my own. This is called Feels Like Home. And it just sits around your neck. You have a towel on either side. Now you can make it the, the length, any length you want. But it just sits there. And then when you're done, you oh, oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Like an apron, kind of. But today, uh, I will show you how to make this step by step. Um, it's so comfortable. But it is made out of cotton yarn, acrylic yarn. Um, I named it, it feels like home. And yeah, so before I go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video and you don't miss any new designs or wackiness. All right, let's get started. In this video, I use Kaboo Yarn by Lion Brand. It is a 3.5 ounce ball, 232 yards. It calls for a size 3, but I used an H hook, um, and I used about 100 yards. So, yeah, here's the H. Da -da -da. It's a 5.0 millimeter. And okay, let's get started. So we're going to do a slip knot. You wrap it around, hold it, bring this part over, bring this part over. And we are starting with the towel. And you make two towels, one for either side. Okay. All right. Now we're going to chain twenty eight and we yarn over and pull through the loop. Just in case you didn't know. All right, so Get a little closer, yarn over, pull through the loop. And then that's three made right there. One, two, and three. Okay, so part in the hands. I just got off of work. All right, so yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And so on and so on until we have 28. And here I lost count. <laughs> so you're going to see a couple of the frames come in and out. <laughs> but 
uh, all right, let's keep going. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through. Okay, and we keep going until we have 28 chains. And magically, we have 28. Ta-da! Okay, pull out a little bit of yarn. 28. All right. Now, in the next row. Now, this is your choice if you want to add the single chains in between or not. Your preference. But we're going to do a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So it's yarn over, insert the hook, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. Just like that. Okay, let's do that again. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three. Ta-da! Now we're going to make one half double crochet in every stitch going across. And that's three. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, Pull through, we have three, yarn over, and pull through all three. Now you could use any type of cotton yarn that you like. You're not obligated to use the kaboo. But this is what all the half double crochets will look like. And then we're going to go all the way to the end. Okay. With the next row, we're going to make the V stitch. So you insert the hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. It's a double crochet. Then you have chain three. And we're going to double crochet into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And there is a V stitch. Now in the beginning, you did a chain two. Now here's where it's optional if you can, if you want to put that single uh, chain in between the V stitches. It's mere preference in the video I put it, um, but in the finished product I did not. Then we're going to skip three chains, insert the hook. Do a double crochet, chain three, and then another double crochet in the same stitch. This is the V stitch. It always looks wonky, but if you pull it, it, uh, it comes out right. I'll show you. The chains are always loose, but you chain two, and then the V-stitch, skip three chains, and then you do a V-stitch. So it's always the same pattern. Skip three, V-stitch, skip three, V-stitch. But let's keep going.
Again, that's optional. That little chain there. So we skip one, two, three. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through. Chain three. And another double crochet in the same stitch. And you pull them. And they flatten out. Now in the video it's showing that I skipped four stitches and then went into the fifth. But it is uh, just like the written pattern. And then we just keep going all the way to the end. And I will meet you back at the last stitch. Okay, magically, we are at the last stitch. <laughs> Here's what we have so far. Okay, straighten that out. Now we have just a few stitches left. We have one, two, and three left. So what we're going to do is we're just going... We're not going to put another V-stitch. We don't have enough room. So we're going to make a double crochet right there, which starts the foundation for the wall, as I like to call it. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And that's just a du regular double crochet that starts the, the wall, like I mentioned. Okay. And you had the chain two from the beginning. That's the wall for that side. All right. I'll show you one more time. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect when you um, come to the wall part. You can either go through the, the hole, through the stitch, as long as it's on the end. Like that. Okay, so now we chain two and turn. Now we're going to start the cluster stitch. But here's a quick view with the V stitches. It's so pretty. <laughs> Alright, so we just chain two. Now we're going to do cluster, which is five double crochets in the V stitches. One double crochet. Two double crochet. <laughs> I only had a little bit of coffee, so I'm a little silly. Three. And then four. And five. And it's just a two row repeat. These are the two rows, but you get the wall and then you have your cluster. Okay, next one. We find our next V stitch. Right there. And we do it again. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And we do another five in this V-stitch. That's two, and three, four, 
and five. Okay. And then you get the B stitches, and then you have the clusters. That's the beginning. Now the part with the half double crochet on the bottom is the top of the towel. But we're going to go all the way to the end here, and I'll meet you back. Okay. Again, magically, we are back. We're going to do the last cluster here. That's two, three, four, and five. Okay. And if you remember, we have to make the wall. We have five, okay. Now we're gonna make the wall. Now here's where I was saying, it doesn't have to be perfect on the wall. It could be in, in, in the stitch, it could be in the hole. As long as you get it close enough to the edge. And you just do a double crochet right there. show you what we got so far there's the wall and the clusters and the v-stitch now when it gets a little longer it does straighten out okay so now we're going to chain two and turn our work Now we're going to do another row of V-stitches. But that chain two is again for the wall. We're going to find our middle stitch, which is the third stitch from the five. Yeah, we'll show you a little closer. We're going to do the V-stitch in the third stitch from the previous cluster. So one, two, and three, right there. We don't count the wall. All right, and if you remember, the V-stitch is a double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the same stitch. So insert hook, yarn over, pull through. If my yarn will cooperate, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Whew. Okay, chain three. And three, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull, th come on, come on, pull through, okay, let's try this again, <laughs> work with me, pull through two, yay, <laughs> and we have a V-stitch, right there. And then the next cluster, right into the middle, again, the third stitch. I did not put a chain one in between the V-stitches. Okay, double crochet, chain three, grab the yarn, and another double crochet into the same stitch. For me, I don't know about you, but the Kaboo yarn seems to split a little bit. But it's so pretty and soft. Okay. Now, I'll meet you back over here. We're going to do the last V-stitch together into the third stitch, here you go, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two, nope, let's try that again, <laughs> yeah, 
Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. Yarn over. Pull through two. And pull through two. Yay. Chain three. And then another double crochet into the same stitch. Ta-da. <laughs> and then we're going to double crochet into the last stitch to continue with our wall. And there we go. Okay. Okay. This is what it looks like so far. V-stitch, clusters, and V-stitch. Let's make it look pretty. Stretch it out. Okay. That is row three, but we got the V-stitch. The clusters with the five double crochets in each and then another row of the v-stitch and then the wall so we're going to do another one of the v-stitch I'm sorry another row of the clusters with the v-stitch it's just alternating between these two rows and okay there we are. Okay, we have 13. Okay, we have, I did a total of 16 rows. You can make it shorter or longer if you want. But I did the 16, 17 with the top. I do apologize, there's a lot of traffic in my area today. But you make the two towels, each one is the same, and this is the bottom that hangs, and the other side, this is the, this is the side that you connect to the scarf. Okay, and let's connect the scarf. With your acrylic yarn, any type, any color, your choice, make a slip knot. Okay. Now, I usually work where you work over your tails. You find the corner. Insert your hook, grab the yarn, all the loose ends, I lay them over, so that way when I'm working my stitches, they get covered, and it's less weaving in later, hee <laughs> hee. Okay, and we just do a simple slip stitch, there we go, okay. So now that it's attached, we chain one, and then in the same stitch, we're going to make a <clears throat> half double crochet. And then in the next stitch, it doesn't have to be perfect, no specific stitches per stitch, but I try to make one per, but we insert the hook, make sure those ends are there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. And that's your half double crochet. Me, personally, yes. I, I don't count the stitches when I'm attaching like this. It 
Some do, some, some don't. I eyeball them. I should count. Bad. Bad on my part. But we're going to make a half double crochet all the way across in each stitch. Come on, get in there. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now, give you a little view of what it's starting to look like. Not much at this point, but but we're going to go all the way across to the end. And I will meet you back here. Okay, magically we are back here again. Half double crochet in the last stitch here. All right, now we're going to chain one and turn. Nope, my bad, chain two. Okay. Let's bring it a little closer. Now we're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch. I used the chains as my first double crochet, but we are doing one double crochet in every stitch across. Yarn over, pull through two, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and again. Dun, 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 and dun, dun. Okay. So we had the row of half double crochets while I'm grabbing my yarn here. <laughs> and a row of double crochets. And that's going to be the repeating pattern. We're at the end again. Okay. And again, it doesn't have to be purdy purdy. You find the hole. Now you can either stitch into this stitch or like into the hole or into the actual stitch. Depending if I made my stitches tight or not shows where I will put them. That's what it looks like with this half double crochets and the double crochet. Not bad, right? It looks pretty. But we are going to chain up one, turn our work. Bring a little closer here. Okay. And then in the same stitch, we're going to single crochet. Next stitch, single crochet. Insert the hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over. And pull through the two. Whoop, nope. No yarn over on that one. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's single crochets. Give you. And we're going to go all the way to the end with single crochets, and I'll meet you back. All right. Here we are. Now, I have to recant what I said earlier. I am sorry. It, the first row was the half double crochet. Then it was double. Then it's going to be the single. And it's repeating double crochets and single crochets. We chain two. And then do a double crochet. 
Next stitch, double crochet. Insert a hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And then we just keep going, double crocheting in each stitch across. Just like that. With mine, I just used Red Heart Super Saver with the white. I have plenty of Red Heart on hand, so. <laughs> but I wanted something that would be good around the neck. Okay, we're still going with the double crochets. There we go. All right. We come to the end. You do your last double crochet in that last stitch there. Just like that. Okay. I got more coffee. <laughs> All right. Grab more yarn here. Grab some coffee and we're back. Okay, so you keep going until you reach row 71. Um, you can make it any length you desire with row 71 is the length of what you've seen in the beginning of this video uh, where the towel will hit just by the belly but if you want it longer you just keep on going with this pattern with the double crochets and the single crochets or vice versa with that first row being the half double crochet just keep showing you these stitches here just in case you missed them okay okay now once you get your desired length we're going to attach the other towel to the other side of the scarf. If you already know how to attach, if you have a, an easier way or better way that you like, by all means, I just put the, keep the yarn on the hook and then insert it into the corner and then slip stitch. And then usually I will chain one to lock it into place. Okay, and now we're gonna go through. Let's bring that a little closer so you can see it. Pardon the nails. We go through the towel stitch, put the loose ends, make sure they're in there. And then we find the stitch from the scarf. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through too. We're just connecting them with a single crochet. And then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And match them up a little bit. Doesn't have to be too perfect. Insert the hook through the towel. Make sure those loose ends are laid over. They're looking for the other hole. Okay. That one, I find that hole, and that one, okay. Now you just keep connecting them, but what I found was 
One of them seemed to be a little longer. Uh-oh, what do we do? Don't fret, don't worry. Got you handled. Easy peasy. So we just figure out how many stitches we're hanging over. And then we're going to skip that many stitches to compensate for the overhang. Okay, so we'll skip and then skip. I like to not do them consecutively. I'll skip one, do a stitch, do another stitch, then skip. But uh, you do that for as many stitches that are hanging over. And then with the last stitch, you just connect the two corners. Almost there. And pull through. Okay, and you are now you have your towels connected to your scarf. Ta-da! Now don't fasten off yet. Hey, okay? but you can't even tell that you skipped a few stitches. Okay. Now, we're going to put a border on the side of the scarf. Go into the scarf. And we're just going to make a single crochet in every stitch going up the side of the scarf. Let me just get situated here. Okay. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And you just one stitch. If you have a big gap, you could put the two stitches in each one. I just put one in each on the side. Right along. Going all the way to the end. Okay. Then you fasten off when you get to the end, but here we are at the end. Get a little closer. Sorry about that. Should have warned you. Now you can either stop there or do one last stitch. I did one last stitch to try and secure it. It's a mere preference. When you look at it, you'll you'll see and you'll under you'll know whether to do it or not, but I was fighting this last stitch here. Come on. Okay. And then just do a slip stitch on that one and then secure it with a chain one. It's hard to see the yarn through the camera. <laughs> Put the yarn and then pull it through and pull it, make it tight. And then you'll take your yarn needle and you will weave it in. Now go one way, but also go back the other way and it locks it into place. Okay. Now we're going to go to the other side of the scarf and we're going to add the yarn and do a single crochet in every stitch going across on this side. And there you have it, the Feels Like Home Kitchen Boa. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a fun time making it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. It's, it was nerve wracking and very nervous, but I did it, yay. I have the written pattern up on my Etsy shop uh, available for you. And all right, I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.